Patriot Prime Reviews is a channel for adult collectors and may not be suitable for children under 13 years of age. Viewer discretion is advised. This video is sponsored by ToyHacks.com. They're your one-stop shop for reproduction decals for your vintage G1 Transformers and upgrade decals for your modern bots. Weaponry for your figures from the Toy Hacks Armory and great looking backdrops for your display from Toy Stages. And now you can get 15% off of your purchase using my promo code PATRIOT at checkout. So yes, 15% off your order using my code PATRIOT. So check out ToyHacks.com and make your collection stand out from the rest. And tell them Patriot Prime sent you. Now, on to the video. Ho, 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 ho. The featured bot in this video is the brand new Transformers Holiday Optimus Prime. I just received this figure today on my porch, and I am so excited to get him because this figure looks awesome and perfect for the holidays. So taking a quick look at the packaging, we've got Holiday Optimus Prime in his truck mode that this time is licensed by Volvo. So that is really awesome. We got VNR right there. That is a Volvo type of truck. And this figure looks just like it. You got Transformers here on the side, Holiday Optimus Prime, Christmas trees, snowmen, Hasbro right there. And what's really cool about this box it looks like a gift that has been opened. You can see it tore on the sides and up here on the top. That is just a really neat looking box. Now, side of the box features some artwork here that I'm afraid Hasbro has been very naughty about because this is reused art from the Authentics line. We don't get a new artwork of Holiday Optimus Prime. So Hasbro, you're gonna get coal in your stocking if you don't do better. Back of the pot box is product shots of Holiday Optimus Prime in truck mode and robot mode. Top of the box, I have to show this off, it has a to and from gift tag on it with the Autobot symbol behind that tour wrapping paper. So now, without further ado, let's get Holiday Prime opened up out of this packaging and check him out. Don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and welcome to Patriot Prime Reviews. Now once you get Holiday Optimus Prime all opened up and out of the packaging, you'll see he does come with a sheet of instructions that, as usual, is very well illustrated and easy to follow. But man, does this thing open up into a poster. I mean, you can hang that on your wall if you'd like. He also comes with this candy cane striped blaster or peppermint pulse rifle, if you will. And this is a repaint of the blaster that came with Earthrise Optimus Prime. And then, of course, we have Holiday Optimus Prime himself, who came packaged in vehicle mode. And I have to give Hasbro a shout out because they fit Optimus Prime within that box. You didn't get a lot of wasted cardboard with the packaging, so kudos Hasbro. Now, taking a closer look at Holiday Optimus Prime in his vehicle mode, I love the paint scheme on this guy. Very festive, very holiday, and I like how it looks like it's actually snow that's on the vehicle. You can kind of see the speckles there along the peppermint stripes on the trailer along with the way it's painted on the cab. I mean, it looks like that should be a red cab, but it's covered in snow. Now, first thing we're gonna do here is let's compare Holiday Optimus Prime to Earthrise Optimus Prime. And man, I have to tell you, I love the new mold for the cab right there. So let's get Earthrise out of the way and let's take a closer look at the trailer. I'm not gonna spend a lot of time on this trailer right here because this is the exact same trailer that came with Earthrise Optimus Prime, Dead Optimus Prime, and Nemesis Prime. So this is a trailer that you've seen many times before. 
Like I said earlier, I love the paint applications where it looks like there's snow right there. He's got the stripes on both sides and then the front of the trailer, you've got an Autobot insignia with a Santa Claus hat. I love that, that is awesome. Back of the trailer, very, very plain. Now, opening this thing up, this is blinding white. There is no paint applications at all on the inside. Even the repair drone is just solid white. Doesn't even have any paint for the windows. This is what I would imagine would look like if he was hauling white paint and rolled over a mountain. It's just, there's nothing to it. He does have the shield gimmick right there that you can pull out and attach to the robot mode if you'd like. I always have such a hard time putting that back on. But yeah, that's pretty much it for the trailer. He does have all the different weapon ports and spots so you can attach your weapons if you so choose and of course he has the ports underneath as well so you can attach between the wheels or on the sides now he does have this little adapter right here that extends or actually lessens where the trailer hitch is so it goes farther back on the vehicle mode because if that wasn't attached it would be way too close or way too far back take an earth rise here which kind of screws up the looks of the truck. So that's pretty much it for the trailer. Now let's take a look at the cab. Man, I love this. The fact that they have a license from Volvo to do this truck really, really shows. I mean, look at the details on this. You got the silver grill with the Volvo insignia. You've got the different side mirror sticking out here from the front and the side of the door got translucent green windows that i'm not a big fan of got one exhaust pipe right here looks like it has a little bit of a paint scuff there on the top love the rear the rear looks awesome and very realistic and look at the tires multiple tires well, we have eight there on the back deep recess for the rims that looks so good. He even has mud flaps right right here. <laughs> Excuse me, I had the mud flaps tucked in. Volvo mud flaps right here and right there. Paint applications you get right there on the front. You got the yellow lights, a little bit more green right there. Now, I love this. This truck looks awesome. The only thing I really don't like with it is the happy holidays right here on top. I wish the happy was centered more over here because it looks really off center the way it is. I understand what they were going for, but they should have moved happy over just a little bit. But all in all, this is a fantastic looking truck mode. And to be honest, I think it's one of the first Optimus Primes that we've had in truck mode where you don't see robot toes hanging off the back. So that looks fantastic. And just mentioning once again, the paint applications here, like I said, it looks like it could have been a red truck and it's just covered in snow. I love that. I think that is so cool. Of course, flipping him over, you do have a visible Optimus Prime face staring right at you, but just don't pose him like that. Now he rolls really good. All those wheels really zip along the countertop there. And I just couldn't be happier with this truck mode. I think having a fully licensed vehicle mode really, really helps. And we need to see this more often. So now let's go ahead and get Optimus Prime transformed into robot mode. Okay, to kick off transformation, the first thing we're going to do is pull out the sides of the vehicle right where the gas tanks would be. So after you get those out like so, go ahead and unpeg them right here and fold them up you can see right there they peg into what's going to be optimus prime's arms next thing you'll do is go ahead and take the smokestack here bring that out of the way and then take this section right here the back part of the cab and bring this down you want to be careful with this unfortunately this whole section section is painted translucent plastic and I've seen some posts on Facebook and Twitter showing where the hinges break. So just be nice and careful with that right there. Now, after you have that done, go ahead and bring down the forearms of Optimus Prime 
and go ahead and split the cab. You can go ahead and start to bring the legs down like so to get them out of the way. Then you're going to take these sections right here, the front of the vehicle, bring these up and out of the way. There's these little black sections here, bring those down and that'll give you clearance for the legs. So go ahead and bring the legs all the way down, rotate the figure around and let's see right here, bring the feet out and unfold the feet there like so. Here again on this side, see if I can keep it more in camera this time, fold the feet out, flip the toes out, flip the heel spur out. Now once you spread the legs, you're going to have this little yellow section dangling right here. So that is going to come into play later on. Now what you're going to do is go ahead and bring the sections that you folded out from the truck mode, bring that in, fold up, and up like that. It's on a double hinge. So you're going to bring it in, just like so, fold up, so you make sure that's out of the way there. And that fills up that big gap and then bring these little black sections here up and over. There's a little peg right there that that's going to snap right over. Go ahead and do that on the other side. Now what you're going to do is bring these front sections in. These are going to form the knees. So bring these in like so and there's a gap right there that's going to line up with the gap on the little black section. So do that on both sides. I actually really like the transformation for this figure. So he's got these protruding kneecaps like so. Now what you're going to do is go ahead and get the arms. To keep this in camera for you, rotate the arms out just like so all the way up. They're going to kind of soft click into place, rotate them down. For the waist here, you're going to bring the legs back and then take this section fold it up and that's going to lock in place there so you can bring the legs down just like that go ahead and take this section here bring this down we got open this little flap push in let's see always on camera i'm going to have a screw up what am i missing i get prime's head out there we go get your thumbnail in so you can open up that little flap bring that down Take these little shoulder pads here, bring these down. Now bring the chest up and it's gonna kind of snap into place on those little shoulder pad section that kind of locks in. Go ahead and take your rear section here and it's gonna fold in half up on his back. And you got two little pegs right there. They're gonna line up with those slots. Peg those in, rotate, prime's head around. These white sections right here, go ahead and bring those in. Those are going to form his grill stomach area. Open these sections up here on the arms, flip the fists out, shut those back. Same on this side. Bring the arms down. And there we have Holiday Optimus Prime in robot mode. And I really like this. He looks so good. Big fan of that head sculpt. That looks great. The mouth is painted white instead of silver, I guess, for Santa Claus's beard. And he's got some green eyes. And it looks like he's got some light piping. So let's see how good that works. I got my lamp right here. Fairly decent light piping. And knocked his trailer over so I mean that's all right but unfortunately with the dark eyes and if you don't have proper light piping behind him the eyes look a little dead nice metallic blue paint for the helmet silver there for the crest silver for the face and of course like I said you got white there for the mouth plate mine looks like it has a little scratch but nothing too bad you got some yellow there for the lights white stripe down the center now i'm not a big fan of the translucent windows on the chest i wouldn't mind so much if you didn't see the matrix on the inside 
So you can access the matrix, just pull that down. Man, that is some bright green. That is some neon translucent plastic right there. Let's see, you can pull the matrix out. I believe so. I have no fingernails, makes it a little bit difficult. So yeah, there's the matrix. So the matrix is, I believe, painted translucent green plastic. So uh, looks pretty good. One of the many matrixes we've gotten lately. I do like the translucent green. So you open that up, it's just kind of like glowing at you. I just wish it was covered right there. Moving on down, we've got yellow for the crotch, and it kind of looks like Santa Claus's belt buckle. Now, if you take a look at the figure, it looks like he's wearing Santa Claus's suit. You've got all the red, you've got the white right there around the wrists for like Santa Claus's, what do you call them? The cuffs of his jacket. You got the black, which could be the belt, red for the pants, and then you've got his big black boots. So from like here down to the feet, Kind of looks like a boot, so that's pretty cool. I dig it. It's kind of weird not seeing the shoulder stacks or the shoulder smoke stacks on up. It's not often when I'm filming a review and a figure just decides to fall off the top shelf, so I'll leave that in. Bloopers are fun. So anyway, like I said, he looks like Santa Claus. So moving on down, you got those big kneecaps that he could really do some damage with. We need somebody translucent plastic right there behind the wheels and some nice details there on the feet he's got some massive massive calves though and i really dig the backpack that's a unique look for optimus prime it cleans up really well it's actually, actually a thin athletic looking optimus prime now as far as articulation the head is on ball joint can look up a little bit look down it can rotate a complete 360, but man, that is some tight joints right there. You can't really do the side to side, so no biggie. Arms, complete 360. They can go out, they can go in. Elbow bend, elbow rotation, and wrist rotation. There is waist rotation, legs can go forward, they can go back, they can go out, they can go in. Nice deep knee bend, and ankle tilt and the toes can move as well due to transformation so now we'll bring in his candy cane blaster which add that to him right here and get that in his hand that is a very tight fit unlike earthrise optimus prime his hands don't open up so get the candy cane blaster in and there you go you got holiday optimus prime all armed and ready for battle or ready for holiday cheer. So there you go. Now what's cool is if you don't want to use the holiday blaster, kind of pop that out and he's got a port on his back, I thought. You can kind of peg that in. And then if you have like a spare Optimus Prime blaster, I have this one right here from uh, my buddy Firetox. Put this in his hand and you can put him on the shelf because without the peppermint blaster, he really doesn't look holiday themed. He can fit right in with the rest of your primes. And I think that's really, really cool. So there you go. There is Holiday Optimus Prime. And now for some quick size comparisons, here is the brand new Transformers Holiday Optimus Prime with Generation 1 Optimus Prime, Earthrise Optimus Prime, and Legacy Laser Optimus Prime. Transformers Holiday Optimus Prime is a figure that really surprised me. I had this guy in my cart for weeks and just couldn't pull the trigger. But man, I am so glad that I did because I absolutely love this figure. He's got a great robot mode, aside from the translucent chest that you can see the Matrix through, awesome transformation, and a fantastic alt mode. Hasbro, please use license vehicles more. That alt mode is mwah, the chef's kiss. Now, I, for one, am pretty sure that this is not going to be the last time that we see this mold because I think this figure is a prime candidate to become G2 Hero Optimus Prime. Now, I don't have a G2 Hero Optimus Prime, but I do have his mold mate Scourge, the R.I.D., Scourge right here, which is done up the same way. 
So you take Prime right here, and if they could fix him somehow to where his legs will work this way, there you go. I mean, that is perfect for Hero Optimus Prime. So what did you guys think of this figure? Please let me know in the comments below. So there you go, guys. Transformers Holiday Optimus Prime. So, does a Holiday Optimus Prime belong in your collection? Absolutely! I think you will love this figure. Great robot mode, great vehicle mode, awesome transformation. There's really not much to complain about other than the all-white trailer and the translucent plastic here showing the Matrix. The Matrix is a gift. You don't show it off to everybody. So yes, if you see this figure on the shelf or still available to order, pick him up. You are not going to be disappointed. It'll make a great gift for you or another Transformer fan in your family. So guys, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to click that bell icon to get notified when I upload new videos. Also, if you're in any position to help out the channel, I do have a super thanks button, and I also offer channel memberships. And I have to give a huge shout out to all my current channel members, because it's support like yours that helps keep this channel going. Once again, guys, this is Patriot Prime, signing out. Hooah! And Merry Christmas! Ho, 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 ho!